Welcome back to Modeling One Hundred One, everyone. It's been a while, and I'm thrilled to be here with some exciting updates. As you can see, I've undergone makeover, and now I'm size version 4.0 with some appearance upgrades. In our previous episode, we dove into the fundamentals of creating an out-of-box build and the essential tools needed to kickstart a Gunpla journey. Yet, you might have observed a gap between your builds and the professionally finished Gunpla showcase on a box or at your local hobby store. Today marks the beginning of a thrilling journey as we embark on a series of episodes dedicated to perfecting the straight build technique. By investing a little extra effort, you can elevate your out-of-box build from this to this. Join me as we unlock the secrets to achieve that flawless finish. Before we start, I would like to acknowledge the sponsor of this video, GunplaHanger.com. This Canadian webshop strives to provide the most competitive pricing for Bandai exclusive Gunpla. Additionally, they also offer a wide selection of plastic figurines, hobby accessories, and tools. Most of the tools featured in this video are available on their website. Check out their website via the link in the descriptions. To achieve a smooth finish like this, we need to follow five major steps. Sanding, seam welding, detail enhancing, decal application, and top coating. Whether you're familiar with these steps or not, don't worry. My tutorials require no prior knowledge. Just follow along and you'll understand everything eventually. Today, we'll be focusing on sanding and surface treatment. In this straight build tutorial series, we'll be working on the RG impulse. I recommend using real grade and master grade for straight builds since they already include a lot of details and are color accurate, which means fewer touch-ups will be needed for the final result. To quickly summarize my previous video, we begin by utilizing either a single bladed nipper or both single and double bladed hobby nippers. When removing pieces from the runner, it is important to use the two-cut method. First, cut a piece away from the gate. Then, use a second cut to eliminate the nut mark produced from the initial cut. This technique prevents any damage to the gunplug parts. Additionally, there is also another type of nut mark called the undergated nut mark, which requires a third cut to clean up. These undergated parts conceal the nut mark completely. Sometimes, despite using a single blade nipper to clean up the nut mark, there may still be some leftover bits. To fully eliminate them, sanding or surface treatment is necessary. This technique is crucial in modeling as it is not only used for nut cleaning but also to prepare various surface finishes for gunpla. For those who prefer a simple finish, using sponge sandpaper is highly recommended. They're versatile and can be used on curved surfaces. Today, we will use sponge sandpaper from Madworks, but any hobby brand will suffice. To begin, start with a 320 grit sandpaper. Make sure to sand in one direction. After a few passes, you will see the nut mark disappear. However, the surface may still be rough. Continue with the 400, 600, 800, and 1000 grit sandpaper. Here is a before and after comparison. If you plan to paint the model, stopping at 600 grit is sufficient as the primer will cover any imperfections. But for matte finish, I suggest stopping at 800 grit for straight builds. Use 1000 grit and above for a polished surface. Starting with higher grits is also acceptable, but it may take longer and wear out the sandpaper faster. When the sandpaper becomes difficult to use, replace it with a new one. Note that even after sanding, there may still be a dark spot near the gate area where the plastic density is higher. Unfortunately, this cannot be fixed. The only solution is to use a matte coat or stickers to conceal the spot. Aside from the nut marks, there is also something called mold lines. Mold lines are remnants of the production process. We also want to remove them to make our gunpla look clean. If you're not a big fan of sponge sanding tools, consider getting a sanding board with sandpaper instead. 
Well, the sponge sanding tool is good for both the flat and curved surfaces. The board is way better for flat surfaces. Additionally, using files can save you from using excessive sandpaper since they're more durable. Plus, files are great for removing large nut marks, making them a solid alternative to lower grit sandpaper. Whether you're using sandpapers with sanding board or files, the sanding process remains the same. And remember to sand along the surface for curved surfaces. In addition to traditional files and sandpapers, there are also glass files available. In this tutorial, we'll be using the Razor Plus glass files. These files can be used similarly to regular files and are great for removing nut marks, yielding impressive results. With those files, you don't need to sand from a low grade to high grade. However, it's important to note that they may not be effective in larger areas and can produce inconsistent results when used for polishing. After completing a basic sanding, you might be wondering about sanding a clear or shiny surface. To achieve this, we will need to use higher grade sandpapers. For our demonstration, we will be focusing on sanding the cockpit clear piece. After using the 1000 grid, we move on to the 1200, 1500, and 2000. Unfortunately, a 2000 grid won't give us a perfect mirror finish, so we will need to use the polishing compound and cloth. The Madworks polishing compound set is perfect for achieving a smooth, shiny finish. To use it, start with a coarse bottle, apply some compound onto the cloth with the same bottle color and rub it onto the gunpla piece. You should notice the surface becoming smoother. Repeat the process with the fine and super fine compounds. This will remove any nut marks and leave the piece with a shiny finish. You can also use this method to polish any non-clear pieces with a shiny reflective finish. We'll be using the same shield piece where I showcase some inconsistencies with the glass files, so you guys know how to fix them. Now, let's give it a shiny finish! So there you have it fellow modelers, this comprehensive tutorial has equipped you with knowledge and techniques to master the art of sanding and surface treatment for your Gunpla creations. Remember, these tutorials are rooted in my own personal approach to model kits, but I'm eager to hear about your unique methods. Share your insights and experiences in the comments below. Let's learn and grow together. If you have any questions or need further assistance, don't hesitate to drop a comment or reach out to me on my Discord server. Join me in the next exciting episode where we'll delve into the fascinating world of scene welding. Stay tuned and happy modeling!